ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest deep. What is it with that creepy story? It's just a local tale. You're really into that stuff? Quit being so paranoid. No, no! Friendly! Friendly! Who are you? Who sent you? What are you? They're coming. Who is? Sorry, Ethan. Why? Down, but for real, you might as well give up now Think you got a chance, but I don't see how Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown I'm the first one in and the last one out Whoever owns the place gotta drag me out I Peggy 18.
ション。Up in Haywood, whole street was my family. Neighbors helped each other out. Thought nothing of it. I am pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. Born here, live here, die here. Childhood memories, hopping buildings, running away from badges, iron tasted blood from a split lip. Ugh, motherfucker. Got everybody fighting for a slice of the street. Get the fuck out of Vista. If you keep getting jumped, you find some stronger tubers. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs, or become a legend overnight? We have arrived. The major. Ready to get your cherry bobbed? Yeah, come on. Childhood, I see. Racing my bobber for the first time through the hills. <laughs> oh, and the、uh, first kiss in the middle of a synth cornfield. We nomads choose who to make our family. A choice forges strong bonds and a higher duty that stands solid as an old oak. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. Miss this, you know, camaraderie. I know. I saw it in your heart the first time we met. You know what I always liked about nomads? Your taste, no, hunger for freedom. Not easy to come by in that city. Corpse got their grubby claws and everything. Have those reports you asked for? They were supposed to be ready yesterday. The world's going to tear us apart when the word gets around. The world's never going to find out. If I go down, you're going down with me. No, I'm not fucking joking. This isn't a request, V. But no way you're fucked, right? You're the one who fixes other people's shit. If you work in our sock counter intel. You're always fucked up. Today, they got you to zero somebody. Tomorrow, they'll get somebody else to zero you. What's the rules, Jack? Want to be top? Gotta have some skin in the game. Yeah, but you're not on top. The Burro Arasaka is, and you're the pendejo who keeps him there. Work for yourself, live for yourself. That's the only way. Job for you. A client of mine is making an arms deal. He needs protection. It could get hot, very hot. The gun dealers on Melstrom. Alas, nothing ever transpires as planned with them. You better gear up for this.
Sovi, are you willing? Yeah, I'm in. Pavel, thank you so much for joining me. Now, there was an awful lot in that video, right? Because there's more than just guns. Absolutely. We have melee weapons, we have ranged weapons, we have cyberware, we have offensive cyberware, defensive cyberware, armor. We could talk for hours and hours about this stuff. I think just for today's episode, we should keep it simple and let's just talk about guns. Can you tell us uh, the different types of guns that will be in the game? So we have three distinct types of guns in our game. We have power weapons, we have tech weapons, and we have smart weapons. Now, power weapons are the most similar to contemporary weapons. One thing they can do, which normal weapons cannot, is ricochet bullets off of surfaces. So you can hit somebody hiding behind cover or hiding behind a wall. Now, tech weapons, on the other hand, use electromagnetic power to propel a fully metal projectile to extreme velocities. What that allows them to do is to punch through cover or punch through walls to hit somebody who's not even aware that you're there. Smart weapons use guided missile technology to actually track targets in real time. So you can hit somebody who's dodging, running away from you, or you can hit somebody who's hiding behind cover. So Pavel, Cyberpunk doesn't just contain FPS elements, right? it's also a fully-fledged RPG. So can you tell us how you guys approached introducing those RPG elements into gunplay? So I can tell you one thing, Holly, it wasn't easy to merge those two elements <laughs> together. Now, uh, we've spent a considerable amount of time merging the RPG and FPP side of our game. What the player will experience is that V changes from a small-time mercenary to a legend in the world of Night City. V becomes more and more proficient in using weapons as the game progresses. So they will see that reload times become shorter, uh, the accuracy of your weapons grows, uh, you will have faster aiming time, you will move faster with your weapons, everything becomes more in your control and that gives you more opportunities to defeat the biggest encounters that we've designed for you. So I have prepared a few extra questions for you, Pavel, if you're feeling up to it. Of course. Okay, well the first is going to be, how do you find more weapons in Night City? Like, where will players be looking for them? So I expect the players to look everywhere for new and exciting weapons. You can, of course, buy weapons at vendor shops and they will house an entire catalog of weaponry that you can get. However, the best weapons that you can find will be taken from enemies or loot caches that we have everywhere in Night nice City. The weapons rarities range from common through uncommon up to rare and then legendary. And as they go in rarity, they actually climb in power. However, legendary weapons are very specific in such a way that they possess unique abilities that you will find on no other weapons in the game. The players will actually need to make some tough choices to find some legendary weapons because maybe they need to choose whether to kill a person who holds the legendary weapons that they want or to spare them because they like them as a character. So next question, let's talk about weapon modifications. What mods can people give to their weapons in Night City? So we have two types of modifications in the game. One of them would be modifications that we call attachments. So these would be scopes and silencers, and you can see them actually being attached to your weapon as you're playing the game. They give you statistics advantage and they give you more opportunities in gameplay. The other part of mods would be software mods. Now these are basically small chips that you install in, the, in your weapon, and they actually change the statistics of the gun. They can give you damage, they can give you accuracy, or they can give you more fire rate. Some of those mods actually change the gunplay on a more fundamental level, so they can give you non-lethal rounds, biochemical rounds, to tear through that armor even faster. So I suppose for my final question, uh, why don't you tell us about your favorite weapon then? Which is your favorite weapon so far in Night City? Oh, there are so many weapons that it's hard to choose just one but I can mention some manufacturers with their weapons that I absolutely adore. 
The first manufacturer would be Tsunami Defense Systems, who produces the sniper rifle Nekomata. That's a tech sniper rifle. That means that it can pierce through walls. So it can actually hit somebody who's hiding behind cover or who doesn't even know you're there. Of course, I also like a close quarters approach. And what that needs is a shotgun. One of the shotguns that we have in the game is Budget Arms Carnage. Now that thing is cast from pure steel and it weighs a ton. However, you can cut a person clean in half with it. So why we? Within a Viking silhouette, a pagan rune stands erect on a ridge. I can see your fate. At night, a montage of pagan symbols and imagery, followed by Viking voyage and raid in an icy fjord, snow drifts onto calm water. It flows like a river. A Viking longship sails. Carved out before you. Daytime, a mountainous landscape. I can see your desires. A river. Taking you far from your home. Fortress walls. To lands of power of mystics, church runes, and legends, in a forest, but a blonde viking, you are hiding something, using a hidden blade he kills a soldier, at night in a church converted to a pagan temple, you walk with shadows, the viking searches the temple, what is it you seek, in a throne room, I see conquest, a king stares, I see your enemies, vikings stand on a snowy ridge, your struggles, you doubt. Soldiers on castle ramparts. A longship speeds along the river. Glory awaits you, Eivor. A siege. But it will cost you everything. At the fortress walls, Eivor and the Vikings approach with a battering ram. Eivor commands Viking archers to fire. The battering ram breaches the gate. Vikings charge inside. With a shield, Eivor trips the soldier. He swings a battle axe, slicing off the soldier's hands. An image of Eivor standing as the doors of a temple appear within his chest. In a great hall, Vikings raise horns and ale mugs. At night, northern lights glow about a village tucked within a snowy fjord. Images of a hooded Eivor, then Viking burial. Outside the temple, Eivor charges a figure wearing a deer skull wielding dual blades. Inside, Eivor stabs the figure with a hidden blade. Barbarians stare. Eivor hurls two throwing axes. Next on a forest path, Eivor and his companions on horseback. They ride towards towering jagged peaks. I can see all of it. Eivor battles soldiers. Blood and flame. He decapitates an enemy. Loyalty and family. Vikings meet in the Great Hall. Betrayal. Hunger. There is a war within you. A leafless tree within a Viking silhouette. And glory will not be enough. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, available November 17th.